Shed season 2024 is here. Braden and I just wrapped up a killer shed trip looking for elk sheds and we have a bunch of great content coming your way. We've teamed up with Sheep Feet and we're doing a whole bunch of giveaways this year. Getting your entries is simple. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is make sure you're following both Braden and I on social media as well as Sheep Feet and then tag us in your shed photos using hashtag shed crush and that will get you entered into win. After this video series airs, we're gonna give away a marsupial gear bino harness, a set of sheep feet, and also swag from each of us. Good luck, hopefully you guys crush it this year. Use hashtag shed crush. Hope you enjoy the videos. There we go, round two. Pulled out yesterday with Eric and Braden. Make sure you're subscribed to both their channels, Get Hushin and Big Time Crit, so you can see their perspectives on the shed hunt and how it's going. We're kind of bouncing around together this whole month shed hunting. Uh, but we pulled out, Eric and Braden crushed it. I found a pretty good hard white set on the first round. Watch that video if you haven't. Now we're moving into new country. Uh, we just unloaded Eric about, I don't know, 500 yards that way on another ridge. Now Braden and I are bailing off. We got camp, we're backpacking in. We're gonna see what we can find. We got the chicken from a random store and we got ketchup in here and we're just gonna throw this on the fire. And really? 100 yards down the hill. Do you want Oh, we're just set set up our tent. Uh, no luck yet. We are set and ready. Well, I have been walking a long ways. It's been a big day. Haven't found anything. Not even a fresh track. Finally ended up down in this jungle crap. So I'm just going slow, doing some zigzags. Hopefully I can find some water down here. And that right there is what you want to see. We've got beds, poop. There's been an elk living on this hillside here. The question is, is it a bull? And can I take the right line to find his sheds? You can walk and walk and walk. I feel like you're never gonna find one. Just walked onto a big chalk, looks broken up and old. Pretty good one, but it's old, very old. Seven point. Pretty sweet bowl. Been out here for probably 
six years baking on that south slope. You can see how it's broken off, chalked up to the touch, big cracks. At least I know I'm not crazy. I know there's some brown somewhere in here too based on the, the tracks, I just don't know where. on to a little bit better condition look at that front it's a two-year-old antler probably laying out here that big old g1 with a knob at the end almost splits and then down here on that base that's cool right on that eases the pain a little bit of a tough day but my feet are still sore, still gotta go get the radio, and I'm a long, long ways from camp, a few miles. Pretty solid bowl, heavy. Not much for, I don't know what that third would have been, maybe up to here looking at it, but a big old G1 and a giant base down here, down low. Big base, I'd say two years tops, laying out here on the ground. Well, we may have just found a brownie left side on this trail. Brown elk shed, right on. That is a unique looking bull there. Big old base on him. Kind of a little six point in the back. Dense, heavy bowl. Looks like an old bowl, just sort of poor genetics. It <laughs> could be a last year's antler. It's a pretty hard white looking right here, and I think, I think with the way that the Ponderosas are covering this up. It's kept its color. So this is a last year's antler Would go for brown quality if you were selling it, but That's a last year's antler laying up here Bro, yeah, this place sucks Dude, you got God. a brown, yeah. huh? No, hard white. Oh, Dang. hard white and some chalk. The big old chalk. Dang, yeah Holy cow, it was a jaunt though. Let's see. Look at that weird burr. Is that a set? 12 point, no. 12.28 miles. Dang, just grinded. 10 hours of hike. Yeah, oh, so I had 9.5. You guys not get any? That's all. Nothing, dude. No we kidding. got worked. That's all, It's dude. bad out here. Yeah. Um, and I lost my radio about right after I last talked to you. I figured. Fell out. I, I knew it. I figured where it was, but I had already gone like a mile. And I was like, I'm just gonna hike and then go back because it was kind of on my way. <laughs> Dang, dude, nice find. Me and That's Braden got worked. Dude, I mean, the crappiest little chalk right there. Nice, bro. <laughs> Dang, man. Well, got something. Better than nothing. Well, I'm just gonna spend the whole day, like, regardless, almost of sign. Mm -hmm. <coughs> at least give it, at least start with wide loops, and then if something pops, like, <coughs> kind of the, the notch, you know, that whole. There's like two cuts. I was thinking if that, if I go up, because I'm going to end up in that canyon up back there, mm -hmm. I might wrap around. If I need to like come back somewhere different so you're not walking on any of our footsteps. Mm -hmm. That's why I think I'll like honestly just walk this trail all the way to those canyons mm -hmm. and then go hit them and then do like wrap around like at least a few times on the front faces. <laughs> drop down where we camped and then hit that one slope. I know what I have to do, but I just don't want to do it. It's fine, I'm not going to regret it.
Well, walking real slow through this face. I'm just gonna kind of push out as far as I can. Look down, saw something white. Confirmed it with the binos. That that right there, middle of the screen, is an elk shed. So let's go pick it up. I know it's just a raghorn, but hopefully it's at least hard white. And while I was walking down to it, just noticed another one down there. That one looks chalk, but let's grab this one first. Yeah, it's a hard white, looks like. Maybe a last year's or two-year-old shed. Still hard, kept its color. A little bit faded on the back side. That one is definitely chalk. Been there a while. Nothing too special there. Prop it up in this tree. Well, well, I just glassed up a white antler. It's kind of on the way, kind of not. I'm gonna have to side hill and then go up a big face and then back off of it after I pick it up. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go down, up this face, make that one push, and then continue on. So we'll see, fingers crossed it's a good one, worth packing out. That is weird. Look at this, guys. Not what I glassed up, but, oh. Looks like it's super chalked out. Side by side set. What in the world? Shed right there on top of each other. Now is that what happened? Or did somebody put them like that? Gosh, the way that, that this canyon is, I wouldn't be surprised if he just shed side by side and they ended up on top of each other. Pretty good bowl, but as you can see, broken up on all his points. Would have been a pretty good bowl, pretty heavy. But as you can see, chalked out. Man, I just lost about 50 yards of elevation just to come check these out, but it's all right. Pretty cool, whether somebody put them there like that or not. That's cool. Another raghorn. Chalker. <laughs> Dang it. Well, that's what I glassed up. We're up here now, so we're gonna keep going up over this top and maybe the back side will have something. Not packing that though. It's just not worth it. Well, we got snowed on last night. I think I'm gonna let everything dry out and buzz down to go get that antler that I glassed up and see if it's worth packing out. Eric says he's getting some shots of the hush knife. Is this thing live yet? Ooh, I think it should be live on the website by now. Yeah, it's a hush knife in collaboration with Argali. Comes with a little Kydex sheath. It's pretty sweet. Eric says that he thinks it's at least a two to three year old antler. Dude, I've glassed that hill. Like I haven't glassed it hard, I guess like the last year really so I think it's got to be in decent shape probably worth packing out if I had to guess so he's kind of talked me into it so with the weather being wet and everything in to dry it's a perfect storm to go buzz over and check it out that's what I think Braden found that freaking freak bull that's probably one of the better finds of the day and then this pretty sweet coup shed 
Texas coos deer, is yeah. that what you said? Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> That's Came cool. all the way from Texas. Eric found these. He did find a good side-by-side -side hard white set. Boom, baby. Yeah, I'm super zoomed in right now, but I dropped a general pin right where I thought it would be. So I know I'm right by it <clears throat> on my scout hunt map. So now I just got to kind of grid and look for it. It always looks a little bit different when you get over in the country. Where is the antler? I was just a little bit above it. Not as big as I was hoping, but the quality is there. It's a hard white. Definitely a hard white. It's been chewed up by rodents. Dang things. I glassed it up from way over on that ridge over there. And here it is. Crazy to think <laughs> elk are shedding in this country. Yeah, it's hard, hard white. Good eye guards, it sucks his face has got chewed up. But a sweet bowl. Still brown on this side. Good condition. So, Eric, you were right. Two to three year old antler laying out here. Glad I talked myself into it and the boys wanted to let me go out here an extra hour to come grab it because that's worth packing out. Well, I'm back to camp. Moment of truth, are they the same bowl? Similarities, but a little different. So and this is mine, and this is Eric's. I think they were hanging out together last year, because look, yours still has brown, and it's still hard white with hardly a crack. So I'd say those are the same age antler. Both of them are shed last year. Just real similar genetics with that back end. They could be... Uh, Eric has a better royal. Brothers or something, man. They do have some similarities in them, but both are cool. That's a solid bone, dude. No, it Worth. doesn't have any <laughs> burr left. <laughs> I know, the burr is stupid. Look at my burr. It got nuked too on the inside. The rodents seem to love to chew around the burrs out here, but yeah. There we go. Another solid white for the M Chag to throw on the pack out of here. Big time broke down the, the tent halfway, so thanks for doing that. Just gotta load up the gear, pick a few of these antlers out, and we'll head, uh, head home.